Hello, what's up guys? If you're here today, I think it's for mid-journey and I wanted to show you how to get more inspiration and also how to recreate uh, the most famous painting, the most famous photos right on mid-journey. So um, if you guys don't know about this one, uh, this is why I did on the left, on the right, it's one of the most famous picture in the world. And um, I tried to recreate it, uh, not because I wanted to copy it, but because obviously I wanted to understand if Midjourney could somehow understand how to prompt it, how to give the right request to itself to recreate the photos. And from there, I made a bunch of remixes and uh, and the whole, process, um, the whole process is in my uh, LinkedIn post. So if you want to check it out, it, it's in my description. But today, I wanted to do it with you. I wanted to do it together. So what we're going to do, if I can get out of this place, <laughs> hopefully, um, so what we're going to do is first we'll go on Google and we'll try it. Yeah, I, I literally said most famous pictures in the world because it's a nice way to start. Um, what can I do? I don't want something creepy, obviously. Um, this one is a good one. Uh, let, let's let's get a famous painting. We'll We'll start with a few ones. We'll get this one. We'll get another one. This one I had it in my in my house. Um, I mean, not exactly this one. I had um, a couple kissing uh, in the streets. Uh, it's not this one. It's a uh, it's a known photo. Uh, let me let me check. Let me check. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't know it. My mom would be so mad at me because it was literally in our um, in our living room when I was a kid. So I downloaded everything, and then you go here. You go on Mid Journey, and you go slash describe, and here you can put any image. And Mid Journey is going to try to describe it. I'm going to do it with all of our images. Put myself on the top so I can do it. And describe and kissing couple. So usually on Mid Journey, what you do is that you share text, a prompt, and it creates four images, right? But you also have describe, which is you put an image, and Mid Journey tries to describe it, but four times, uh, which is a, a great way to not only get inspiration, but sometimes there are some words you would have never used before. And if Mid Journey knows how to use words for itself, like, for example, pre-World War II School of Paris. Like, I would have never prompted that way. And now you know it might work. So what you do is that you go here. And what I like to do is that you have Imagine All. And so it's going to take all of those prompts and it's going to create it individually. You're going to see it. So I'm going to click on Imagine All. And it's going to take a long time. I'm going to do the same here and the same right here. So basically it's gonna take all of those prompts, all of those, a man standing in the streets, um, uh, a photo taken between the Rue de l'Hiver and the Boulevard de Romand. How does he know that? I'm from Paris, I don't even know those, I don't even know those places, I mean those streets. How is that possible though? Uh, it's funny that it, one says a man on a motorcycle kissing a woman on the streets. Um, the goal here is not to recreate it per se, but more like getting inspiration. Like, for example, humanity struggle. I can't believe how beautiful is this? Yankee core. I mean, this is words that probably most of you would have not used it. I would have not used it personally. Um, and now I get to know. McDonald punk. Like, what is that? And imagine if the result is good, then I know those keywords might be good and I, and I store them in a library. Um, so let's see. Um, so it's, it's, it's creating it. Uh, I think we have a few results. We have this one. Um, so the goal here is not to take all of them, obviously. I just created four times three. I just created um, actually more than that. It's four. It's 12 times four. It's roughly 48 images. So yes, the goal is not to <laughs> select all of those images, but rather just see if there is one that sticks. This one, I kind of like it because the guy is just watching down. It's it's interesting. 
Um, this one is definitely interesting. Like, what is that? Wow. Okay. I like it. Um, I'd like to upscale the first one and also the f uh, the third one and the, the first one. So if you're new to Mid Journey, this is the first one, two, three, and four. And I just like this one and this one. I can't explain why. Maybe you have different um, a different take on it. I feel like they were more interesting. Uh, what do we have? We have a couple kissing. It's strange how it real it feels, and you can open it here to kind of zoom in. Uh, I always try to search for like details that are bad, so you check the hands. The hands are good. Actually, this one feels really we uh, real because even the color is not perfect. You know, like a uh, human being. Uh, this one is actually good because he. She takes the belt. I don't know if the belt is is real or not, but I kind of like this one. Okay, let's upscale this one um, because of that belt motion. Um, so we have this one. What else do we have? Wow, this one. I mean, it feels so close to the to the original. I'm 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 surprised. Like this one feels really close to the original like it's crazy can I get back to it so that we we have it I think it's like here yeah so we have this and we have this um, it's like a, a real uh, recreation of the of the painting um, I think I'll go for the third one uh, the second one this one feels interesting but also the first one to be honest um, so what do we have here? Here it's more like a painting. Uh, it's romantic, whatever. <laughs> but I don't see anything that really catches my eyes. Um, this one is does not feel real. Maybe this one feels a bit real, but w with like the how she looks. But she looks not in his eyes so that's weird this one is definitely weird like what's happening this one's like weird also you don't kiss someone like this so we don't we don't select those um wow this one went uh, when we made this one it's it, it really went well because again um what do we have it feels super real um like a mix of the two this one i like it more because of the background uh and how austere they are, like how, uh, yeah, I don't know, there, there is like a, a general feeling about that one. Here it's not. You see, I don't have anything, I mean, these two person feels really weir real, but I don't have anything that catches my eyes. Um, again, maybe I'm wrong, but this is my personal, uh, my personal feeling. I'm from Paris, it definitely looks like Paris, but again, Nothing really outside of the box. Here it's uh, not so interesting neither. Um, I don't see it becoming... Okay, this one feels nice. Uh, the top of the head is weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I mean... Okay. Like the man is in the dress and... I kind of like this one because it's like surreal. <laughs> oh my god, I love Mid Journey. I have to say, I love it. I love Mid Journey, okay? I love it. Okay, let's let's upscale this one just because it's just too fun. And then we have these ones, not good. Okay, so now we upscaled a bunch of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven with um, the one that is coming. What I go from here, what I do from 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 here, and I, and I put myself here. I know it's it's annoying to change, but so that you can see this panel. Now that you upscaled one, you can keep it that way, and you can open it and download it on save image. You can definitely do that, or what you can do, and this is what I like to do, is you can start either zooming out or you can even zoom out and start writing other stuff um, or you can vary strongly or very subtly. So vary is 
a remix of the image and I love doing that. Sometimes I do it with just keeping the, um, uh, I just keep the, the prompt itself. That's what we're going to do. And uh, I think this is enough for this one. This one is definitely good. I don't see it going, like if we zoom out, we might be too far away from the characters, but I'd like to very strongly and and say portrait and um, and then submit. It's interesting that it's a woman and a man and somehow we end up with this. Um, you can check the prompt. A painting of a man and a woman holding pitchforks. Uh, it's 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 crazy good. Um, this one we like the belt motion. I'd like to zoom out uh, just to see if we have more depths to it. Uh, this one is definitely interesting. We can very slowly, and we can say um, 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 surreal, and then we keep the rest. So here you just play with how you want it. Here I would like to zoom out. And um, and I think we're good. No, there is also this one. I'd love to zoom out as well to see the background. And this one is just... <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one because I feel like if I'm... If I'm varying it, it's going to disappear. So maybe we keep it that way. And you have this <laughs> weird image that somehow works. I don't know. Uh, okay, maybe I can show you something. You can custom zoom out and then you can say uh, World War II. We just won the war. Celebration. I don't know if it's a good prompt, but I just wanted to show you, you can zoom out and with the zoom out, you can prompt what you want in the zoom out. Um, okay. So it's still creating right now. Um, as you can see here, I'm going to go to the far bottom. And what do we have with the zoom out? Wow. It's actually good. Like, I love this one. This one's so good. The hands, ah, it's too much fingers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. But for the rest, it's really good. I love this, this hand, protective hand. Um, I would still go for this one, even if the hands are not perfect. I feel like I have something, you know? Um, what else do we have? It's still on the process. So this one, we made a remix. And now we have very different ones. This one feels so creepy. <laughs> but I like the fact that there is a small, a small house in the background. I kind of like it. Um, I think we can finish with this one. Uh, for this one, it was a remix. And I just said portrait. Oh, it's such a shame. The first version was much better. So this is... This is... This. And this one was just much better. So what we're going to do, we're going to save this one. And at the end, we're going to see what we have. We're going to save this one. The remix at the end was just not good. Where is it? Um, I have to go back at the top. Okay. So here we have this. No, I just prefer the one we did. Here, I prefer the one we did as well. Here we upscaled it. Here we upscaled it, which is here. We're going to save it. World War II. <laughs> And it gets weirder somehow. I mean, oh wow, three legs. At least here there are two legs. I kind of like the, the last one. Okay, this one is just for fun, okay? You have to understand, a lot of people ask me a question, how did you become good with using generative AI and then teaching people how to do it? It's just that I have so much fun doing it. And I think a lot of, of the... Of the um, of the learning is through games and, and, and having fun. So here it's more like a classic photo. Um, I'd like, like you can see here, look, normal legs, normal legs, normal legs. And here you have this slight motion, it makes it much better. Try to find those small elements that makes your image pop sticky. 
um, and here we'd like to keep it. This one's definitely sticky. I love that one. <laughs> and that's the last one. We try to zoom out. And here it's going to be about the the hands. Uh, look, here there is a problem. Two hands plus one here doesn't work. Uh, very formal. But I guess we only have this. Um, and then maybe the background. So here the background, I don't think... A flourish background is what we're looking for. We're looking for something like desolated in the background. So probably between these two, how did you select it? Uh, I probably select this one. There is more depth to it. You see here, more depth to it. Here there is less depth to it. So I would go with this one, the third one. And that's the last one. Maybe we won't select it. No, it feels like, look, here it doesn't feel real. I mean, at least to me. And here, I don't know, uh, he's holding two stuff. <laughs> you should not. I don't think you should hold two shovels at the same time. And here we're going to open it and open this one and open this one. OK, so that's the final product. As you can see, and, and I could go deeper than that. I could remix it again. I could zoom out again. Um, you have to know the more you zoom out, at some point it gets weird. But you can get something that you were looking for. So that's one uh, from the painting I showed you before. That's another one from the two people kissing. Uh, I like it. I like that there is a guy watching in the background. Um, this one is just... <laughs> this one is just for fun. But it's truly is fun. I don't know what's uh, on the, probably flowers are on the floor. This one, you see, this is where I'm like happy of what I'm doing is when I see these kind of things. I like the, the blue eyes and how it's piercing you and the dots on each of them, the hair um, and the little cross on the top of her hat, the little house in the background and the d desolated background this is one that I'm happy with this one's also really good the problem is the hands here maybe one way to do it is to use Photoshop AI to just select that that hand and try to generate a good hand but the colors the sky the the mountains are blue and then orange it's a it's a pretty good one as well and then the last one is this one. This one is more like abstract, uh, surreal, um, but it's definitely also interesting. So I hope you understood my process, which is to get more words by using describe on whatever you want to describe. Here I took some famous photos and paintings, but you can do anything. You can even do yourself and then describe it. All right. So uh, thank you for your support. I read all of your comments on YouTube. I answer to all of them and um, look right now I know I don't have the setup I'm literally in my place in Tel Aviv I have this customer service headphone but um, I have all of the gear all of the equipment I'm just looking for offices here in Tel Aviv as soon as I have one the videos will be much better but until then thank you for your support and I catch you soon all right bye bye